refilling your Cigar Oasis Magna. The Magna should be refilled depending on, of course, the climate you're in, the frequency of how often you open up the cabinet, and the time of year. So it's hard to say a specific time, but you should become accustomed to setting the time of the week, um, if it's in a home environment or a time of day, if you're in a retail environment to just top off the uh, magna. You should not wait until it's completely dry to refill as that requires the unit to run for longer periods of time to push out humidity from beads which are significantly smaller. So best to top it off as often as possible. You want to use distilled water. Distilled water is cheap and easy to get. Keep a couple cases handy, especially if you have these in a shop. Uh, today I'm starting with brand new beads, but of course if you're refilling, you probably, your beads look a little different. They're maybe a little dirty, which is fine. And they're somewhere an inch from the bottom. When you're refilling, you don't want to go more than halfway. The reason being it takes about 24 hours for the, band, for the beads to expand fully and you don't want them to go all the way to the top because then they could get stuck into the control top, it can block the airflow and that's no good. You want it to be after fully expanded three quarters of the way up, about an inch and a half from the top. And that is a perfect amount of space for the airflow to travel. So when refilling, you want to go about halfway between beads and water. And within 24 hours, you'll see the beads expand. Uh, and it should be about an inch and a half, about an inch uh, at most from the top. It should look something like this. This is one that I filled up 24 hours ago. Let's move this away. Something like that. That are, those are just about fully expanded beads. We got a nice inch and a half from the top and there's room here for the airflow. Uh, well, here's where it's filled up from, but room here for the uh, humidity to be released. If this is in a retail environment, you can either put a little funnel here, uh, which makes it easier to fill up, or just leave it open and using the bottle, just go ahead and pour it in like that. Um, you don't want to, again, fill it up too much. Uh, if it goes to the very top, uh, water can splash up into the control top and get onto the sensor and you'll get an H2O reading uh, which doesn't only mean low water but it means also high amount of water and that would mean you need to dry out the control top um, and that can take some time and is not guaranteed to work. When you refilled it and you plugged it in again and it's still reading H2O that doesn't necessarily, uh, that can be the case because H2O comes on to the remote if the set point hasn't been reached within, 20, within two hours. So it's not as if the unit actually detects what the water level is with any type of gauge. It's just a matter of did it not reach the set point within two hours. If that's bothering you, um, you can just lower the set point temporarily, let it read the set point this reading will go off and then you could up it back to 70 or whatever. Uh, but it should definitely within, once refilled, within 20 minutes to a half hour, get to the desired point and then uh, the H2O will go away. That's how you refill your Magna. Thanks for watching.